Welcome back to Tactical Pontoon, where we're making triggers. We are making triggers. Okay, so if you've got one on order, uh, I got I got triggers being built. So you guys are in good shape. They will be. I've got some shipping out soon, next day or so, and then thereafter. So be ready. They're headed your way soon. Um, really, here's the reason why we're here tonight. Um, picked up a little gun that maybe if you followed me on Instagram you already saw. That would be the CZ P10C Suppressor Ready. Now, um, when this gun came out, it was the Glock Killer. This thing was supposed to take the Glock 19 and just run circles around it. Now, I personally have not shot this yet. Um, I'm going to try to shoot it before I take it apart. Uh, which is probably going to happen because with all of the triggers that I have right now ahead of this, this will probably get shot quite a few times before I get a chance to really do any research on it and uh, play with it. However, um, that being said, I am looking forward to shooting this thing because not only everything have I read and seen, uh, you know they're saying it's a very flat shooter it, it just it, it fits in the hand really well and it and it does uh, ergonomically this guy just it fits better than a Glock I'm not gonna lie and with the uh, texture that the grip has I gotta say this just about rivals my uh, RTF 2 frames which I don't have right around here um, so it really is a very grippy grippy frame and it fits well in the hand. Now this gun, even with the threaded barrel, the suppressor high sights that are also night sights, $500. That's that's a bargain. That really is. Um, having taken this thing apart, there's no real machine marks. Everything looks really nice. Um, there were no burrs everything the, the action just runs very well the magazines they pop right out from the factory you're talking about ambidextrous you don't have to to swap this thing out you can push it from either side which is kind of neat um, I know I'm partial to the the HK style where you can just uh, you know hit the little mag switch but that's just me um, so really and then the slide stop either side you know just it runs uh, steel magazines for some people that's a thing I personally have no problem with polymer magazines like the Glocks uh, this guy came with the uh, you know the suppressor ready model uh, the magazine still say 15 but they hold 17 I know at first I was a little bit upset. I'm like, well, why in the world is it only going to hold 15 when my Glock 17 magazine is shorter and holds 17? So, anyways, it does hold 17. It doesn't say it, just like an add-on. Um, so, really, Glock killer right out of the box. This guy is probably pretty close to what 30 years of evolution with the Glock kind of could have been. Now, I am a Glock guy, I love my Gen 5, I love all of my Gen 3s, but I do, I do have some liking for this thing already. Um, right out of the box, that trigger is just pretty phenomenal. Uh, it's got a lot of take up, but it's, you don't feel it, it's just very light. It hits a wall, and then you're talking a very crisp break with uh, little to no over travel. So it is right out of the box, a very beautiful trigger. Um, if I were to compare it to one, um, the, uh, the Walther PPQ, that one that I had, this is actually, in my opinion, better than the Walther PPQ. And that was a beautiful trigger. However, the one thing that this beats it on is that over travel and the wall. The one thing that the PPQ seemed to have 
was it was kind of spongy and then it had some over travel so I would say if you were in the market between the PPQ and this right out of the box for the price you could not go wrong with this I believe the uh, basic models are going for about four hundred and forty four hundred and thirty dollars um, however my local gun shop had the suppressor ready model so I had to do it more than likely I will be getting a uh, compensator for but anyways I do I do like this gun already at five hundred dollars you know I threw the uh, stream light on it and when I look at what this is at five hundred dollars versus this guy which I have not added up build price on this um, and I really don't know that I want to at this point but I gotta say your money goes a lot farther with this guy than it does with this guy at this point now right out of the box this trigger is amazing but in my humble opinion and the reason why I see this gun not destroying Glock is something very simple and that being that the Glock is very simple anybody can take apart a Glock anybody can replace parts in a Glock with literally one tool so you know, say what you will about the spongy action of a Glock, or at least most Glocks, until you get one of mine. Um, it serves a purpose, and it serves it very, very well. Because it's very simple, and it works. That is not to say that this won't work. And CZ has a long reputation. There have been some issues with this gun, um, which we won't get into here because this is just a short video. But... The basic lock, especially your Gen 3s, they run, and they run, and they run, and when they do break, it's relatively easy to replace a part. You know, say for example, my HK USP. This is probably a stronger gun than your basic Glock, but not only are parts more expensive, but they are harder to replace. Should you need to replace them, it is a Glock, or it is an HK USP, pretty much indestructible. So. And this did not replace the Glock. One, it was a lot more expensive, and the Glocks just run for the price. So, long story short, we will be looking at seeing what I can do to improve this trigger and uh, running some rounds to it. Is it a Glock killer? Does it fit my Glock magazine or my Glock holsters? It does not fit any of my Glock holsters. So. I watched all the videos, people said it fit Glock holsters, it doesn't fit Glock holsters, so I don't know, go figure. But neat gun, looking forward to shooting it, I'm also looking forward to taking it apart. And it will be more difficult than taking apart a Glock, unless you're talking about basic field stripping in which it is literally just a Glock. You do it the same way. So. That's the Glock P10C Suppressor Ready. Just a brief overview and um, just a few differences between it and the Glock and why, in my opinion, at least my humble opinion, why it will not replace the Glock or destroy the Glock. Take it for what you will. This is James the Tactical Pontoon. I have got to get back to making some triggers. We will catch you later.